some of you might have a parent and you're helping this parent, maybe a mom or dad, you're helping them pass either the private patrol operator exam or the private investigator exam. And no matter how many times they keep trying to take the exam, they keep failing. Many of you fall into this category and many of you have purchased either of my books, the California Legal Investigator or the Private Patrol Operator. You guys purchase the books, you read it to your parents, maybe perhaps your parent reads it and they just keep failing it and you wanna know uh, how can you help your parent pass. Um, usually this happens with parents that are older than maybe 70 years old, maybe they're, they're late 60s um, and you're helping them study. Uh, many other times there's a language barrier. Um, they might speak a different language that's other than English and you're helping them prepare for the exam. You yourself, you have a difficult task and that task is to motivate and educate that parent with enough material that they need to pass the exam, which is a very difficult thing to do. You yourself, you would probably pass the exam on your own, but you're having somebody else do it. So here are some things to consider. Now, I don't, I don't have a lot of time to spend on emails or text messages or phone calls. Um, October, November, December, January, February, those months are packed. I have so many comments to respond to on YouTube, email, and other social media, text message and telephone calls, I just get overwhelmed. Um, so it, my advice to you is use my book. Um, that should help them pass. It helps many pass, just look at the reviews. But if they keep failing, even with my material, this is my recommendation. Grab the Business and Professions Codebook and go through all the sections that are most likely to be on the exam. You'll know this because through my books, I highlight the codes that you will need to know to pass. And it's usually the ones that are misdemeanor sections or fines that are greater than $1,000 up to $10,000. Those are the ones that are testable, but my book covers most of the material that's testable. Go through that section and or go through one of the sections, read it, and then have your parent read it and tell you what that section is about in his or her own words. What you're doing is you're rephrasing the study material. You're framing it differently as well. And a parent that is able to understand what the section means can explain to you what it means. So just name a section, have them read it to you, give them some time to understand it, and tell, ask them, hey, mom, dad, what does this mean to you, the section? Now, after they are able to explain what it means, put it in a private security or private investigator context. And what I mean by that is, say, hey, mom, dad, apply this knowledge to a real world situation involving a private security guard or a private investigator. If they're able to apply the law to specific fact patterns, which will be the scenario, and they're able to touch on all elements of that business professions code, then they're showing you a different level of understanding. They're showing you that they understand the material. I think those parents that keep failing, I think that they're not able to apply the body of law to specific facts, to specific scenario that's on the exam. I think that's a problem. Number two, it's the number two problem I see is a language barrier. Um, there, I get a lot of people that speak um, Arabic, uh, Spanish, um, Indian, and um, they have difficulty understanding the con the content on the state exam. They don't fully understand the question because they don't understand English as well because English is a second language. 
they have to know the verbiage, you guys. Go through those business profession code section and make sure that they understand all, all what these words mean. Um, and then those of, those of you that keep failing it, um, it's usually, when I get these phone calls, it's somebody that has a hard time speaking English and they tell me that they understand English, but yet I don't understand fully what they're telling me. So I don't think that they have a full command of the English language. And that I think that's what causes them to fail. Um, so please, I would use that other technique. Um, there was somebody that asked, asked me not too long ago um, to help them out. And this is the way I, I'm gonna help them out is through this video. I, I did promise a video, I'm a little bit late, uh, but sure enough, I come up at least five or seven times a year there's always um that adult child who's maybe in his 20s 30s or 40s um that wants to help the parent pass you know your parent they they they're they're great at what they do in the security field or security field or private investigation field they're really good they have a good grasp of knowledge um but the exam test book knowledge, and they might not be familiar with it because this whole time they're used to just going out in the field and making things happen. They're not used to taking tests. So they're not dumb. Your parents are not dumb. They just have to use a different technique to pass the exam. And I think sooner or later, they're gonna pass. Um, just, you know, just don't give up. A lot of times your family business depends on this. So do not give up. Master the English language um, and use these techniques that are in this video. And I've had um, a lot of people that were English as a second language. They might not pass the first time, first, or first time or second time, but maybe the twelfth time. I had one guy pass. It took him like 11, 12 times to pass, uh, but eventually he passed. And I'm proud of him for doing that. He he struggled along the way, but he he made it happen. Okay. Now, if they're doing good in the exams in my book and they keep failing, what you have trained them to do is to memorize the questions and answer combinations. So what that's all that they've done and, and they haven't retained any knowledge. All they remember all they retained is how to memorize something, and that's not gonna be helpful to them. Um, you could you could keep taking my exams in the back of the book hundreds of times over and you can get 100%. That's not gonna translate to getting a 100% score on the state exam. I'm fully transparent with you guys. It's not gonna translate into passing. You're just training that person to memorize, okay? So if that happens, go straight to the business professions code book. Labor code, if that's applicable, it's more applicable in the private patrol operator exam um, there's more case law in the private investigator exam but go back to that have them re recite what it means to them and apply it to a real world situation as well <clears throat> anyhow if you like this video if it helps you please press the like button please subscribe for more videos